it is really hard managing all the different projects we have in our lives, managing our time and managing the many tasks we have in our professional and personal lives. Particularly if, like me, you work in many different teams and different roles. But if you get the right apps to help you, they can really streamline your work. Here are the top five apps that I use on my Mac that I found improve my productivity and help to streamline my time. App one, Moom. I absolutely love Moom. It allows me to resize my windows however I want. And that means you can put a window into the left half of your screen or the right half of your screen or a quarter of your screen with one simple click of a button. And you can save your presets if there's a certain way you like your screen laid out. I know this seems so simple, but that's why it's so wonderful. It avoids dragging and resizing windows. This is a one-off cost of £7.50. It is money well spent and has really reduced the amount of time I spend moving things around and allows me to work simultaneously on lots of things. App 2, Toggle. I've kept this into my top five, even though I only used it for a few weeks, but it really made a huge difference. Because I work on lots of different teams, like you may do, or it may be that you feel like one task, say your emails, is sucking up all of your time, Toggle's a really great way to track this. You just press the Toggle button when you start working on a task, and you note what the task is. And then when you finish working on that task, you press stop, and that is it. And you can look at any time to see how much time you've spent on different tasks. By the end of the week, you'll be able to see clearly how much time you spent that week on emails, on social media, on work stuff or whatever else that you do online. I did this just for a couple of weeks to see how my actual time was broken down in reality. And it really, it really helped me to refocus my time and to redress the balance on the amount of time I was spending on different projects. There are paid versions of Toggle, but actually the, this simple tracking you can do on the free one, I really recommend you try it out and let me know how you get on. App 3, OmniFocus. This is what I use for my task management and all my life planning. Here, I basically put down every single task that comes into my head, no matter how small, and it means that everything is right there. And then you can organize them into projects, you can add dates, you can add notes, you can even forward your email there. And it does take right time to get this, the right system for you. But if you use it well, it means that you're gonna be able to plan your week or your day knowing exactly what lies ahead. And also you'll be able to prioritize your tasks because you'll have allocated priorities to them when they came in. I really love this app. There is a cost, it's $9.99 a month or $99 a year, but it does come with a 14 day trial, so please have a play around and see how you like it. App four, one password. I don't know why I didn't have this in my life before. It is a secure password manager that syncs across all your devices. You've got one master password if you need to log in, and then you can generate random passwords for all of your accounts that you don't need to remember. And it's so easy. One of the great things about 1Password is that you can have a family account and your passwords are split into vaults. So you can have your own personal vault, but you could have a shared vault with your family. So we share passwords like in our family Netflix account or whatever, but you can also have your own private password. It's really lovely and it means I'm not using versions of the same single password across my entire life, which I'm ashamed to say I was pretty close to doing that. There is a cost, it's $2.99 a month for individuals or $4.99 for families. You can have up to five family members in there, but they do often do some introductory offers, so check it out. App number five is my TP app, which is for my teleprompter. So this is a bit different from the others, but it's really cut my time down. If you do any online teaching, consider using a teleprompter. And a teleprompter is just any sort of screen that will, you can put your notes or any prompts up in front of the camera. And it encourages you to look straight at the camera rather than having to look down away and look at your computer or your notes. And that delivers a better connection to your audience. You can set this up in loads of different ways. I have a proper teleprompter set up 
using a glide gear and a field monitor. But you don't have to do this. You, can, you could simply set up uh, any screen, any tablet to sit just above or just behind your camera. And the TP app, it's very simple. It's got an app on my phone and it's got one on my computer and it basically allows me to press start and stop to scroll through my notes. It, you can set it up in sections, you can change the speed and it's really excellent. If you're recording online teaching or you're delivering it, it really cuts down your time to recording because it allows you to just know what you're about to say rather than focusing on desperately trying to remember it and it allows you to concentrate on the content that you're delivering to your learners. There is a cost to this of $39.99, so it's not cheap and it depends how often you're going to do online teaching or want to have notes in front of your camera. There is a 14 day trial though, so it's worth checking it out. So these are my five favourite Mac apps to improve my productivity. Please let me know what your favourite apps are in the comments. Each of these apps in their own way has helped save me time in my workday and helped streamline my productivity. And I hope you can try them and find that they will improve your productivity too.